Well guys, um, this video it's it's Tuesday the 16th of February and look the weather is see it's absolutely fantastic weather for this time of year. Um, what I was doing today is just you see in the video what I'm doing. Going to Grenland some more, the uh, agri store there in Moat County Westmead to pick up a bin of uh, their beef nuts. Uh, I will be doing voiceover throughout the video because I haven't got much, you know, with the nice distractor that I couldn't, no point talking in the video because you wouldn't have heard much, so I'm going to be voiced over a lot of the video. And uh, I will be talking about the beef nut and I'll be talking about the GFC bin, as you can see here behind me. Um, it's it's all going to be in the video, it's no point me explaining too much but now. So, we'll take from there. I have the video already recorded, so what you're going to see from now on is me kind of travelling to Mosh with the baylifter and the JFC bin on the baylifter and coming home. I couldn't record in Glens, so I wasn't sure if it allowed allow recording or not, but I will ask one of the days. And if you want to see footage of Glens Agri Store Mosh and what to do and what to sell in there, comment below and I'll see what I can do and get some kind of video with them going. So, yeah. Continue on the video here now and take from there. So guys, as you can see, there's a GFC bin and it's on the bailiff for now ready to go. Uh see down the bottom of the bin. It's kind of two tracks there where the bailiff goes in each side. And um, there's the website and all. If you want to look up more information on the bins, click on the website and if any information you want to be on it. So yeah, I'm just about to head off here now to Glen's and Moat and get the bin nuts and look I get a bit of footage in the way it's not going to be that talking but we will see how it goes and yeah so just keep watching this video there's information on the nuts I bought and there'll be more information on the GFC bin so just keep watching and I hope you enjoy the video So as you can see guys, it is a glorious spring's day. Uh, it's one of the best days of us. It is actually one of the best days of us so far this year. Um, looking up, everyone's after drying up after the cold easterly wind we got last week. It brought in snow and bad conditions in many areas. But look, see how this weather goes. I know there is a bit of rough weather promise, but hopefully it won't last. Everywhere's just dried up nicely now, and we, when I let out the cattle there the other day, they are enjoying it. They are they're staying out now more than nothing else, and very happy. So, as you can see guys here on, the, on my right hand side, we have the well. Um, it's, the most, it's the most well known uh, music venue here in the Midlands, the Well Moat. You have all the top... Mostly all Irish country singers and that um, go there. I know it's closed now with COVID, but when it was open, you have all the big selling country singers from Ireland and that to go there the weekends and play. Um, this was a very good night. Like It's all country music. and So as you can see there, guys, the JFC bin holds in around two quarters of a ton or a bit more. And um, I was also asked in the comment what price the nuts were. As you can see there, the unit price is €307 Euro a ton. And they're a super bull nut, they're a 14% bull nut. And they also do a 16% bull nut for younger stock. And due to Brexit and that, that's why the price is a bit is a bit up now than the other year. But yeah, I'd highly recommend them for anyone that's fat in the cattle. And as you can see there in the bottom, the phone numbers of all the Grenland stores uh, around the Midlands and that. So wherever you're from or wherever your nearest store is, the phone numbers are there and yeah, uh, whatever you need, ring them there and as you can see there, there's the main store in Rath in Bar. So I'm on the way home now with the bin of nuts and I pulled in for a Mug coffee there in Brownsville station. 
just to keep myself going for the day. But as you can see now, I've been in notes behind me. Sorry about the bad camera footage there, but yeah, you wouldn't even know that the bin was behind you now. It's grand, handy bin to move around, and yeah, it's. We were very impressed with your one. Very impressed. I would I'd recommend anyone that is feeding cattle or feeding cattle and land or anything to instead of working with bulk bags and all that, I highly recommend to buy one of these bins. So here it is here now, as you can see, two simple clips for the lid of it. Open it up and you can see it's just fairly well full there now. There's over two quarters of the honey in that bin and it, you can see it will hold a bit more. But moving around Travel on the road, the nuts have settled. But yeah, these are a fourteen percent super or a bull nut, and it's Grenon's own mixture. But due to Brexit and that, that's why the price is a bit dearer this year because some of the ingredients they have to import in. But it is what it is. Nothing they can do about it. But yeah, I'd highly recommend Grenon's nuts for the younger stock. Get the sixteen percent nut. And for the older stock, coming up onto the forward source, I'd recommend a 14% note, and that'll bring them on nicely to where you want it. So, once again, there is the website, and if you want to look up at them, if you can make out the coordinate there, you can look up the GFC website, the code is there. But Grenons do sell these bins, and there is, there is other, as far as I know, a lot of other agri stores who sell them too. So guys, that's the video for today. Thanks all for watching. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. I hope you got information on the beef nut I picked up and my other beef nuts to have. And uh, JFC bin as well. I'll, look, you see, you can buy them grounds in Moat. And you can see there throughout the video, the phone numbers are there. If you're not from Moat or if you've got Cormac or any other places that are near to you, the phone numbers are there and you get in contact with them. and. Look, I have no other experience with any other meal bins. You have the tipsy bin and all that, but I have no experience with any of them. All I know is these GFC bins, and we have two of them here at home. And they are a fantastic bin. You can leave them anywhere at all, and they're waterproof, they're rodent proof, and they can even, there's a bung on the side of them. That if you do want to bring water to cattle anywhere, you can fill them with water, bring them wherever you want, and when you're finished with them, if there's water still in them, open the bung on the side and let the water out and get the meal bin back as a meal bin. So yeah, guys, if you like what you've seen, hit the thumbs up button. As always, leave a comment below if you want more information on the nuts or what other meal grains do sell. Put it in the comments below and I'll get whatever information I can for you. And guys, most importantly, subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys.